Installing a switch leg to control the receptacle located in the cabinet under the kitchen sink. Existing constant powered. GFCI, ground fault, and AFCI, arc fault, protected single receptacle located under the kitchen sink, that will have a switch leg added to allow the receptacle to be controlled by a switch. Turn off the power. The space on the side of the cabinet under the sink where the switch will be installed. To add a switch. To control this single outlet, you will need 12, 2MC, metal clad, or other metal shielded cable. YMC cable. With its metal jacket, this cable meets NEC, National Electrical Code, requirements for protection against damage in these types of locations. 4 inches square metal junction box. Single pole switch, in this installation, Decora style switch. Junction box exposed work cover for Decora switch. 2MC cable connectors. Grounding screw. Wire nuts. MC cable straps. Installation screws. Redheads anti short bushings. Unscrew the screws securing the receptacle exposed work cover and pull the cover away from the junction box. Receptacle exposed work cover pulled away from the junction box. 12, 2NM, non-metallic sheathed, cable powering the receptacle directly from the panel board. Ground wire, bare. Neutral wire, white. Hot wire, black ground bare wire connected to the ground terminal of the receptacle green screw neutral white wire connected to the neutral terminal of the receptacle silver screw hot black wire connected to the hot terminal of the receptacle gold screw Select and open an appropriate knockout in the junction box that will be suitable for installing the switch leg cable. Prepare the MC cable for installation in the junction box. Using a rotary cable cutter or other way, cut the cable jacket at the selected location. Then remove the jacket and protective nylon tape. The free wires after removing the cable jacket must be long enough to be properly spliced. Insert the red short circuit protection bushing between the cable jacket and the wires. The red bushing is not required by the NEC, it may be required by the manufacturer, optional. Unscrew the nut from the MC cable connector. Slide the cable connector onto the cable jacket with the red head inserted and tighten the connector screw. Insert the cable connector with the cable into the open knockout in the receptacle junction box. And tighten the connector nut. Using a cable strap, secure the cable to the cabinet no more than 12 inches from the cable entry point into the junction box. Disconnect the ground, bare, wire, and hot, black, wire from the receptacle. MC cable wires. Green wire, ground. White wire, neutral. Black wire, hot. Trim all MC cable wires to no less than 6 inches long and strip approximately 1 inch of insulation from the end of the ground, green, wire. Slide the green wire nut hole over the ground, bare, wire and, by turning the wire nut, connect the ground, green, wire to the ground, bare, wire as far as the end of the ground, green, wire can reach. Insert the spliced ground wire into the junction box. Leaving the pigtail outside the box. And make a loop in the end of the pigtail wire. 
Connect the ground pigtail wire back to the ground terminal of the receptacle, green screw. Strip about 1 half inch of insulation from the end of the white wire from the switch leg cable and use black electrical tape or other means to mark this wire as hot, since it will not be the neutral wire in this connection, but the hot wire. Group the white, white marked as hot, from the switch leg cable and the hot, black, wire from the cable powering the receptacle. Then connect them together with a wire nut. Insert the connected wires into the junction box. Strip approximately one half inch of insulation from the hot, black, wire end of the switch leg cable. Connect the hot, black, wire from the switch leg cable to the hot terminal of the receptacle, gold screw. Set the exposed work junction box cover with the receptacle in front of the junction box. Attach the cover with receptacle to the junction box using the same screws that previously attached the cover to the junction box. Install a 4 inches junction box in the selected location. Select and open a cable knockout in the junction box that will suit the cable installation. Cut the cable to the appropriate length to connect to the switch and prepare the cable in the same way as for connecting to a receptacle junction box. Insert the cable connector with cable into the open knockout in the switch junction box and tighten the cable connector nut. Using a cable strap, secure the cable to the cabinet no more than 12 inches from the cable entry point into the junction box. Secure the cable to the walls of the kitchen cabinet to ensure a secure, NEC-compliant cable installation that looks neatly. The wires inside the junction box must be long enough to be properly connected. Pre-install the grounding screw. Remove about 1 inch of insulation from the ground, green, wire in place where it will be wrapped around the grounding screw. Wrap the ground, green, wire around the grounding screw and tighten the screw. Trim all wires to no less than 6 inches. Trimmed wires must be free at least 6 inches from the removed cable jacket and must extend at least 3 inches from the front of the junction box. Strip the ends of the wires about 1 half inch. Decora style single pole switch, rear view. Ground wire connection terminal, green screw. Hot wire connection terminals, gold screws. Make a loop in the end of the ground wire and connect the ground wire to the ground terminal, green screw, of the switch. Use black electrical tape or other means to mark the white wire as the hot wire, because in this connection it will not be the neutral wire, but the hot wire. Switch ears which keeps the switch against the finished wall can and must be cut off for some installations. Screw holes for the switch wall plate, which can be bent or cut off if necessary to install in the exposed work switch cover. Remove the screws securing the switch. And cut off the switch ears which keeps the switch against the finished wall. The mounting screws were removed. The switch ears were cut off. And the screw holes were bent. Connect the hot wires, black and white mark as hot, to the hot terminals of the switch, gold screws, in any order. Exposed work cover for Decora switch. Nuts for mounting screws of the electrical device which must be broken off for mounting. Holes for screws mounting the electrical device to the cover. The nuts for screws securing the device are separated from the cover. Insert the switch already prepared for this type of installation into the opening in the cover and insert the screws previously removed from the switch through the holes in the cover and in the switch. 
Tighten the screws using the nuts removed from the cover. The switch wall plate screw holes have been bent to fit into the cover. Unscrew the screws securing the junction box cover from the junction box. Screws were removed. Place the cover with the switch in front of the junction box and secure it to the junction box using the previously removed securing screws. Restore power. Test the receptacle. When the switch is in the off position, there is no power to the receptacle. Turn the switch to the on position. The receptacle becomes powered. Switch leg installation complete. Plug a disposer or other device into a receptacle to control it. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.